Hey guys, Eric here out at the Don Law Golf Academy at beautiful Osprey Point Golf Club in Boca Raton, Florida. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the right shoulder or the trail shoulder, how it works during the downswing, why it's so important to getting the perfect impact position. I'll explain all of that in a moment. If you guys do like this video as we go, we'd really, really appreciate it. If you could click that gray thumbs up button down below, that like button really helps us out. Click the subscribe if you have it and leave a comment down below what you think about the video, questions you have for me, topics you wanna see. We'd love to keep the conversation, talk with all you guys uh, after the video. So how the trail shoulder works during the downswing. Uh, the trail shoulder, the right shoulder during the downswing is maybe the most important or one of the most important. You know club face is king of the hill. Okay, but outside of club face, the trail shoulder to get the perfect impact position, there's two key parts here that I wanna talk about. The first, and we look at a perfect impact position, there's two elements you would see in almost every perfect impact position. Let's talk about an iron to start with, okay? Number one would be shaft lean. Very difficult, very difficult to find a good ball striker who doesn't consistently get the shaft leaning more forward at impact than it was at setup more forward at impact than it was at setup. Usually you'll see the hands inside left thigh at setup, and then at impact more over the left leg. Let's just say for a seven iron here. So getting the shaft more forward, hard, hard to see a good player without that. Number two is the trail arm and trail wrist. Also very difficult to find players who are consistent, hit it solid, who don't have the trail arm slightly bent and the trail wrist slightly bent at impact. Okay, those are two things that I see amongst almost all good ball strikers. Certainly there's more to it, but those two pieces. Now, how the right shoulder plays a huge role into those two things. Number one, shaft lean. So for me to get the shaft lean, get the handle forward, which allows me to compress the ball. You see that takes down the dynamic loft, hit it in the middle of the face, uh, have the ball compress. It feels like you're hitting nothing on it, right? The ball flies. How I get that with my right shoulder, it depends on how far forward or back my right shoulder is. Okay, so my right shoulder during the downswing needs to travel down towards the ground and forward towards the ball or target. Those are the two key movements. From the top, it travels down and it travels forward. Now let's look at the forward component. The more forward I get my right shoulder at impact, what happens? That allows me to get my hands and the handle forward. What does that give me? Shaffling. The more back my right shoulder stays, if we were to theoretically never move forward, either I need to lengthen my arm and my wrist to get to the ball, or I need to have a lot of lateral motion to still have shaffling. It's more like a Tom Lehman style. So for me, right shoulder more forward allows shaffling. So by the time I get to impact, my shirt buttons are pointed several feet in front of the ball. My right shoulder is more forward. That allows me to get the handle forward. Now, how does my right shoulder get forward? My right shoulder gets forward primarily through turn. So my shirt buttons would start pointing towards the target. My right shoulder feels like it points down towards the golf ball, and I want it to actually travel forward. I don't want my right shoulder to go down towards my right foot. It's got to go down and forward with the rotation piece. That allows me to get the handle forward, part one. Now the second part we said is the arm and the wrist need to be bent. Now think about this with me in terms of my right shoulder position. If I take my setup and my shoulders here to the ball, let's call that four feet, five feet, just to make it simple, probably five feet. Now the farther my right shoulder would get from the ball, and at setup position, let's say it's four or five feet, my arm's already pretty straight and my right wrist is, is flat. So if at impact, I want my right shoulder to be bent and I want my right arm or my right wrist to be bent, and able to do that, for me to do that, my shoulder's gotta go down some amount. This is the side bend part. My right shoulder's gotta go down towards the ball for me to do that. If I get my right shoulder farther from the ball, watch what happens. Now I need to lengthen my arm and lengthen my right wrist just to be able to get to the ball. So if I want shaft lean, if I want my right arm and my right wrist to be bent, I must get that shoulder to travel down and forward, down and forward. So if I hit some with this, my shoulder's down and forward to get the handle forward. And I'm down to the point where my right shoulder and right hip feel like they're getting crunched together, so I got more side bend. And my head, if I took my setup position, I drew a line down the front of my head, my head should stay on the wall it started on. So my shoulder's going down and forward. 
and the height of my head would lower just a little bit compared to where I started with. So if I were to simplify that, my shoulder feels like it's taking a direct route down towards the ball and forward. I feel like my shirt buttons are pointed towards the target. My right shoulder's down, so my shoulders are quite a bit tilted here during my uh, impact. Now, it might not look like your shoulders are way open with some of these players, but their rib cage is open quite a bit. So down and forward with the shoulder to get the handle forward, keep the right wrist and right arm bent. Shoulder down, shoulder forward. And what I would expect to see as you're working through those things, and when you're hitting, like you can feel your right shoulder go down quite a bit. If you do the turning part, there's not a lot of risk there. The, the risk here is if your right shoulder just goes down and there's no turn, then I'm too tilted, too far behind. So here I have to turn to get the club to the ball, right? So it's down, but I have to turn with that. So those are the pieces I want to go together. Basically getting your right shoulder down and I would do a couple even where you feel pretty exaggerated. Like get your right shoulder feeling down even more than you think. So your shoulders will feel like they're really tilted, like your body's really, really tilted over. Let's go with that one more time. Shoulder down. Yeah, that's my best one of the day. So you would typically see, right, better ball strikers, their shoulder tilt is more than higher handicaps. Higher handicaps have the shoulders more level. You wanna have quite a bit of this side bend piece. Again, why? So that I can push the hand. See where my handle goes when I do that automatically? I don't, have to, I don't feel like I have to do anything or push anything. The handle goes forward. And I'm able, because my shoulder's lower, for me to get that right arm bent, get that right wrist bent, and I have to have the handle forward for me to not hit it fat, right? So it's promoting all these good things. You're doing this for compression, Better contact, more consistency. Right shoulder down and forward, more down than you think. Yeah, and I need a little bit more of that in my game because those are my two best ones so far today. So, right shoulder down and forward for the purpose of shaft lean, for the purpose of the trail arm and trail wrist bent. That's how it works during the down. So if you guys like this video, we're gonna link another video talking about the right shoulder. This one we did with Sam Golden out in California. It's gonna talk more about how high or how low it is and how that relates to your club face angle. Another big key piece of this, you wanna get the club face more square to match up with the trail shoulder being lower. When the club face gets more open, you're gonna see that high right shoulder roll look. So we'll put that card on at the end, go watch that. Check out Cogorno Golf. Like I mentioned, if you really wanna take your game to the next level, get lessons that actually work, have us guide you through. We'd love to see you at cogornogolf.com.